Hey Michael with X-Force PC. We want to do a little video on troubleshooting X-Plane 11. If your X-Plane 11 won't open uh, or you're just having problems in general, mo mostly this is going to focus on, you know, if X-Plane simply won't run. What can you do uh, to figure out why the thing won't run? So one of the first things you'll want to do is take a look at the log.txt file. Sorry, I don't have a cameraman today. So I'm having to be the cameraman. Um, you want to take a look at the log.txt file, and so if you're on a PC at least, when you open up your X-Plane folder, make sure you have file extensions turned on. That's so you can see the little dot, you know, txt, or um, whatever the extension is on the file. And so to do that, you go to View, and then Options, and then again you click on this View tab, and then right here, uncheck the box that says hide extensions for known file types. Uncheck that. So the first thing I would advise looking at is your log.txt file. And this is you can also email this to explain tech support. But it's a lot of gobbledygook, you'll notice. But lots of times if Xplain is not starting, what you will find is all the way at the bottom of this text file, there'll be some sort of indicator as to why X-Plane is not uh, starting up. And just kind of scroll through here. A lot of this will just look like, you know, junk to you. But hopefully somewhere down towards the bottom when X-Plane quits trying to start, uh, you'll see some sort of indicator as to why it stopped. Now, the, let's say that failed. You know, the next thing I would recommend is taking a look at your plugins folder and consider what plugins you've put in. So that's in the resources folder, and then you go inside of plugins. So X-Plane by default will look like this without any plugins installed, at least currently. This is what X-Plane 11 looks like. Uh, very basic. So anything you see other than this is probably some sort of plugin that you installed. And what you can do is just move those plugins out of here. Um, let me just create a folder and call it, uh, let's see, sorry I'm in the way, test plugin. Okay, you can just take this and right click and drag and move it to the desktop, just temporarily. And then anytime you want to, you can turn around, and you probably couldn't see me do that just then, uh, but I just moved it over here to the desktop. And then whenever you're ready to put it back, you just move it back in here. And uh, you can try starting X-Plane without that plugin installed. Or you can just del hit delete, it'll go to the recycle bin, and you can go to the recycle bin and restore it. Same kind of thing uh, works on a Mac. So let's say you strike out there. Um, the next thing I would look at is you're deleting your preference files. So if you're in the main Xplane folder where the Xplane executable is and you go to output, then there's a folder called preferences. Now I don't know that I would delete everything in here and this is where having the file extensions turned on is helpful. Anything with the .prf next to it is a preference file. Well, these are these are text files, but anything with a .prf next to it, you can get rid of, and Xplane will recreate it. Now, don't totally throw it out because you might want to put it back. For instance, your this is going to reset your resolution settings. It's going to reset um, any mappings you have for your controllers. You're going to have to recalibrate all your controllers. You're going to have to re um, reassign any axes or any just custom programming you've done for your controllers. But the advantage is this kind of puts everything back to the way it was in the beginning. So I just would sort it by file type and then just take all these .prf files and move, move them to the recycle bin or move them to a folder on the desktop and see if your X-Plane will start. Um, now let's assume all that has failed. The next thing you can try is running uh, a second copy or installing a second copy of X-Plane. Probably in your X-Plane folder you're going to have a copy of the X-Plane installer. If you run the X-Plane installer, one of the choices is install a second copy of X-Plane. So do just that. Install a second copy of X-Plane. And what that copy of X-Plane will be is something that is, uh, you know, totally devoid of 
plugins, airplanes you might have downloaded, scenery you might have downloaded, weird things you might have done in your uh, screen resolution. And so you can see if X-Plane will run on a totally clean copy, then you know it's something in your installation or one of these things you've added into X-Plane. Some people are addicted, in my opinion, to adding things to X-Plane. They just feel like they got to put every plug in and every plane and every bit of scenery and all this, you know, HD mesh and ORTH for XP. And anyway, sometimes you put so much stuff in there, then you don't know what broke it. So by installing a second copy of X-Plane, you can see if it works or not. If it does work, then my suggestion would be to put your stuff back into it one thing at a time and then start it up, make sure it doesn't break it, and then add another thing. Start it up, make sure it doesn't break it, and go back and put one thing at a time in. And then if it stops working, you know, oh, that's when I did that plug in. That's what's making it not work. And you can pull it out of there. So those are some tips as to you know, how to try to figure out why your X-Plane won't start and if, it won't, if you just can't figure out how maybe you can kind of start over fresh and, um, you know, get a fresh start and uh, be able to start up X-Plane and go flying. Hopefully that helps.